Well, thousands of people whose cars took on water are now looking to insurance agencies for help. This morning, we're getting some tips from insurance expert Josh D'Amico. Thank you so much for joining us to talk about an issue that a lot of people are dealing with right now. And let's just get straight to it. We saw so many cars flooded. Do most insurance policies cover that? Good morning, and first, thank you so much for having me this morning. There's been heartfelt concern as we've talked to our local customers in the area, and I'm happy to be here this morning to help even if in a small way possible. Um, mo most of the policies out there, uh, in order to have coverage for the claim, need comprehensive coverage. So it, it's policy dependent, and the best way to find that out is to look at your policy documents or call your insurance carrier if you can't find them uh, to see if you have comprehensive coverage listed on your policy. All right, and then how do you file a claim? How do you go about filing a claim if you know that this is covered under your policy? That's a great question and, and one that we often get. Um, the, so during a, a natural disaster like this, insurance companies can get, can get backed up and phone, um, if you call into their phone line, you can experience a heavy delay. So similar to how Jerry saves its customers time and money uh, through our mobile app, carriers have mobile apps that allow you to submit your claim description and, and submit your claim photos. We always give that tip to our customers and encourage them, use the carrier's mobile app if they have one to submit your claim. And then since you're an expert in this area, we see some cars that kind of take on a little bit of water. You see cars that are totally covered in water. How much water does it typically take for a car to be totaled? Another common question, and what you're looking for here is how high the water made its way onto or into the vehicle. Was it above or below the sill? If, it, if, it's, if the water remained below the sill, the common damage you're going to see will be to brakes, electrical lines, um, and, and corrosion in, in the vehicle. Uh, if it made its way into the vehicle and um, is in the carpeting, in the seats of the vehicle, it's probably in the electrical system and it's going to cause more damage and potentially total of the vehicle. But the only way to know for sure is to get the vehicle uh, to a body shop to have it pulled apart and inspected. All right, and yeah, that is the thing. I guess in some cases people would prefer the car be totaled so they could just have a new car that works, but I'm sure in many cases there are probably going to be some technicalities with that where the car isn't in working order, but it's still not totaled. That's exactly right. And again, the key here is how far into the vehicle did the water make it? Uh, did it penetrate the electrical components and possibly the engine where it's going to cause short-term problems, long-term corrosion? and what the estimated damage is on the vehicle and how much it's going to cost to repair. So again, the best way to find that out is to get it to a body shop where they can start to pull back the panels and look to see how far in that water made it. All right, definitely one of the most complicated issues people are dealing with right now, cars, homes, all that stuff. So Josh D'Amico, we appreciate your advice. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me.